Welcome back to the Blissful Badger. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I paint my characters for my Blood Angels army. As normal, I start with a black primer. Followed up with the base color. In this particular case, I am painting an apothecary, so I'm using a white. After I've painted the base color, I do a quick wash to bring out the depth of the model. This will give a nice contrast compared to the base colors that I do on my normal troops. Being that this is mostly a white model, I want to make sure it ties in with my Blood Angel's army. I paint his robes the same color as the armor of my normal troops. I also make sure I get the backpack and bolt gun the same way. To make the characters stand out in a crowd, I sometimes use purple on the robes. Instead of just doing a normal single color brown for all of the pouches, I vary it up. I really like the way that the pouches look on this model, and it tells a story. I make sure I paint the steel just like the rest of the models. I do want them to tie in together. Adding extra colors, such as bronze, will also make them pop, and make sure people know which ones are characters. Once the model is almost completed, I go through the same process of shoulder pads, silver trim, and then I go through and I pick out extra highlights that I want to add such as on a robe or on a blade. This adds just a tiny extra finishing touch and shows that I care more about the characters than the regular troops. And when set aside with the troops, you can absolutely see the extra details put into these models.